Concerning kidney disease definition as per the QEQ, it is defined as the structural or functional abnormality of the kidney which persists for more than three months with implications for health. Regarding the criteria for the structural or functional abnormality, the functional abnormality is the EGFR cutoff they have mentioned it as 60 less than or equal to 60. Other important factors to note in the form of abnormality could be any structural abnormality in the imaging either a scarring or a unilateral kidney or uh, a shrunken kidney that is size less than 9 cm. Even the history of kidney transplantation itself fits into the criteria of uh, chronic kidney disease. But uh, like structural abnormality should have implication for health. So that's why the fourth point is very important. Whatever the abnormality might be, but it should have implication for health in the form of kidney disease progression. Other points to note include even the presence of albuminuria or presence of any urinary active sediments, electrolyte abnormality due to tubular disorder. If it have any implication for health and present for more than three months, that is also called as CKD. But for the clinical aspect, the important point to note is EGFR of less than 60 or a shrunken kidney for more than three months fits into the criteria of chronic kidney disease. And it is classified as per the cause GFR and the albuminuria. Regarding the cause, it is not clearly defined by Kadegu. With respect to GFR and albuminuria, we are having a table with which we can assess the prognosis also. So this is the CKD classification table based on GFR and the albuminuria as per the Kadegu. As per the Kadegu, EGFR of less than 60 fits into the definition of CKD. So starting from stage 3, it is stage 3A and 3B, stage 4 is GFR of 15 to 30, stage 5 is less than 15. What, is that? what are these color codes? These color code indicates the risk for progression of the kidney disease. Low risk, moderate risk, high risk, very high risk for progression to uh, chronic kidney disease or the renal failure. And this part this is the albuminuria criteria A1, A2, and A3. Like you can take as 24 hour albuminuria, albumin excretion. That is normal to mildly increased. If it is less than 30, is normal. So they have mentioned it as A1 criteria. A2 is 30 to 300 over 24 hour or 30 to 300 milligram over per gram of creatinine. If it is more than 300 over 24 hour, that is the severely increased albuminuria. So the doubt occurs what to say if the patient is having creatinine sorry EGFR of 70 with normal albumin that the that is almost coming under the normal category only no need to label it as CKD regarding this area whether to label as CKD stage 2 or not it is a gray zone it is not clearly defined so if a patient is having albuminuria of more than 30 milligram if the GFR is low yes there is a risk of progression of the CKD but no need to label. The definition comes if the GFR comes less than 60. So this is regarding the GFR definition and classification as per the Kedigo guidelines of 2012. So structural or functional abnormality of the kidney for more than 3 months with implications for health. That is the EGFR less than 60 for more than 3 months.